Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today we're going to be discussing the best products for eye floaters. Now we're going to start off with blue light blocking glasses. Now these I'm always wearing in my live streams when I'm doing editing, when I'm on my laptop, when I'm on my phone, watching TV, any digital devices. I'm always wearing these and the good thing about these is they are no magnification. So if you've got 2020 vision and you want to use some glasses to block the blue light these are the ones that I use, it's Juco Blue Light Blocking Glasses. All the links of everything that I discuss in this video are below so you can check them out after the video. Now these block 70% of blue light so you get 30% through which you need to stay awake and for your hormone production but the damaging blue light, this stops it. So this is going to help not make the lens any worse, not make damage to crystalline or not cause any damage to the retina and hopefully not cause any more eye floaters to come. This is only one of the things, there's many ways of preventing eye floaters, but this is one of the products that I use. If you suffer from migraines, which is something that I suffer from, these will help you, especially late at night. So if you're watching your laptop, if you're watching a movie or a film, these will help you not get their sore eyes and the migraine and also be able to sleep because a lot of people have problems sleeping because there's so much blue light, they're all awake. These will help you go to bed after you've finished on your digital devices. And they also dim the light a bit. You can also get the next product, which is similar to these, but it's called a blue light filter. So if you can't afford to buy these, you can download a blue light filter on your laptop and your PC called F.Lux, that's Flux, and that you can actually have on auto. So when it's going dark, when it's the evening, your laptop screen, your computer screen will actually go dimmer and more orange and more yellow, warmer colours for night time and you can also move it around as well, you can go really low and really dark, so say if you need it to be high you can change it all around that I recommend, I use that every day so these blue light blocking glasses and the filter I use every day probably have done for over a year now and then the third thing is for summertime sun glasses, now sunglasses obviously the darker ones in the sunnier weather but let's say it's more winter you can use something called polarized glasses. Now you can get yellow tints, orange tints, and even lighter color tints. So try these different tints out, depending on do you have more of the black eye floaters, do you have more of the transparent eye floaters, depending on which one it will help you more with because you'll see them less. And also, if you have light sensitive eyes and after images, you know when you look at a bright stimulus, polarized ones will definitely help. Anything polarized is brilliant for that. They're the ones that I have to use because I have crazy light sensitive eyes like I could look at something even that's maybe not bright to someone else and look away and have a big after image. If I look at a car, if the sun hits on a car and I get a reflection, that is going to be imprinted in my vision for a good three minutes. Crazy I know. So I definitely have to be careful when it comes to that and also when you look at the sky, you know, blue field and toxic phenomenon which is all the little swirly swirly things. They're not flowers, they're the little things that look like a little worm and then it lights up. It's called blue field and topic phenomenon, which is natural, everyone has. Just that is basically your white blood cells, red blood cells moving through the capillaries of your retina. However, in lighter eye coloured people, light sensitive people, oh, they see them like crazy on white paper, white surfaces, especially this guy. So glasses will help with that as well. That's it from this video. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below and if there's any other video you would like me to make or if there's a question you would like me to answer put it down below and I'll do my best to make a video on that and as always thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.